Guys, here is Trident Gum with Teleplay. So let's let it spin some more. Let's let it do its magic. Okay. There it is, spinning, spinning. So I think this looks really good. But let me show you how I did everything. So first things first, um, uh, here is the general setup. It, it looks kind of complicated here because there's so many random stuff on the table. Because um, all I'm focusing on is on the shoot anyways on my end. But anyways, so to, to break it down, here we have the blue screen. I'm using a blue screen because this packaging has some green element. And if I didn't use the, the blue screen, that kiwi there would be kind of invisible. So that's why I'm using the blue screen. So I used two lamps to light the blue screen, and then I used two lamps to light the actual product. And I placed the product not on the blue screen because when you do that, you know, some people, they just place it on the blanket and expect good things to happen. Sometimes it works, but oftentimes it doesn't. So what I like to do is I think, I think of these shoots as two separate things. So the blanket is one element which needs to be lit, and separately, the product needs to be lit as well. And that's it, just think of, you know, the blanket as one element which needs to be lit and the product as another element which needs to be lit and kind of put it away from each other. And that's it. And in the comment below this video, I'll show you which lights I'm using. I got these really recently and I really like them. Um, Okay, so let's continue. So now that we got the whole lighting setup, <coughs> the whole lighting setup, let me show you what I did in the app. So within the app, uh, let's start with the background. How did I get the background? So I went to pixels.com. Uh, okay, so I went to pixels.com I literally just searched for ocean. Okay. Come on. The internet is, okay, forget, okay. So what I did is I went to pixels.com. I downloaded a short, about 10 second video clip from pixels.com. I saved it to my device. And here's what the original video looks like like this. Then I went to, I downloaded this app called Blur Video. <coughs> and I down, and I blurred the video, which you just saw. So that way, the resulting video looks like this. And I did this because when I use it within Teleplay, see, I go to this, your photo video, click on that. So when I use it in the context of teleplay, it kind of gives it kind of like a nice blurred bokeh effect. Okay, and now, so that's the background. Now for the actual product scene, uh, here we have a rotating table stand. I place it on some box so that it's angled nicely with the camera of the tablet. Uh, I got some rocks and seashells from Michaels. And then I just place the gum on top and that's it. And now for the actual foreground, what I did is I went to the food and drinks foreground category and I used one of these. I believe it was uh, fruit drop more. Yep, that's what it was. And that's it. And one more thing I wanna iterate is is uh, the lighting. <clears throat> so see how we have one, two lights lighting the blue screen and two lights lighting the actual product. So let's see what happens when I turn off one of the lights that's lighting the gum. So see, you're gonna have like invisibility going on. It's just gonna look weird, see? Cause I turned off this light right here. Now let's turn back, turn it back on and you'll see that it looks you know, there's no 
invisibility going on, it looks pretty good. So, and you definitely, I think when you're doing like a rotating shoot like this, you definitely want two lights be, uh, because when it's rotating, you get all these angles and sometimes when the product uh, hits the blanket at just the right angle, it's gonna disappear. So that's why you want two lights uh, to get rid of that issue. When you when it when you just have a product shoot when it's not moving, you can pretty you can pretty easily get away with one light. Let me show you what I mean. So okay, I'm gonna turn off this light. I'm gonna make this stop moving. Give me a sec. Okay. Okay, let's make it look nice. So see, because it's because the whole thing is not moving anymore, I can get away with just using this one light right here because I'm not I don't have to worry about it rotating and then disappearing in the video. Um, so that's another point I wanted to make. You know, I I, I really like the rotating stand because it gives. A lot more dimension to your to your product shoot um, and that's it guys uh, let me know if you have any questions um, I'm always here for you